What is going on guys? This is Stai here and today I'm back with another Discord JS tutorial for your Discord bots. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can have um, your bot assign a user to multiple roles at the same time with just one command. So in my previous video I showed you guys that or how you can have your users add themselves to just one role at the same time. Which, you know, it works fine, right? I can do something like this. If I want to pass in multiple things it won't work, it will only assign me to, whoops. It will only assign me to just the first role that I, you know, specified, right? Notice how it assigned me to only uh, chem, chemistry, right? But not bio. And just chem is just a keyword for chemistry, okay? Um, and yeah, it didn't assign me to bio because I didn't write the code for it, right? So ideally, the whole po the point I'm trying to make is for users to add themselves to, you know, multiple roles, they would have to do it... Um, one at a time, and that can kind of be tedious because you know you don't want to like no one wants to spend all day all their you know day especially if you have like you know like a user wants to add themselves to ten roles, it just kind of gets tedious. So instead, we could do something even better. We can do something like passing in uh, multiple roles. For example, I'm just trying to remember what roles I have. CS, and I think the other one is bio. So I can pass in three arguments, and let's see what happens. So it says we have just been added to the following roles. So I just got added to these three roles. And that's actually so much more efficient. And it's such it's much more faster. And it's less tedious for the user to just constantly have them having to just retype the command over and over again. So I'm going to show you guys how to implement, you know, something similar to this. Not the same exact thing, but something similar. And you guys can just play around and get it to work with, you know, some simple logic, right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys that I'm going to be using a JSON file, which, you know, if you don't know what JSON is, it's just JavaScript object notation. But then again, if you do know JSON, if you do know JavaScript, you kind of do already know JSON, because all it is is just key value pairs, and it's basically just an object. And if you don't want to use a JSON file, you can do the same thing. Um, I mean, I'm, at least I'm sure that you can do the same thing uh, with just using an object. Though I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure there should be no problem. So you can, you know, create an object in the same file with your, uh, with, in the same uh, JS file that your bot is written in. But I prefer doing it this way because it's just so much more organized. Um, I don't want to, you know, have like, I don't want to, I don't like keeping, you know, so much code in just one, in, all in just one file. I like, you know, splitting it up. So yeah, anyways. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to say, okay, if message.content.toLowercase that starts with exclamation mark add, this is just the command that we're going to be uh, using to trigger the message event. Well, not the message event, but, uh, you know, this if statement, basically when we type exclamation add, it's going to do whatever we want it to do. It's going to add them to the role. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, var args is equal to message.content.toLowercase parentheses dot split and a space in between so what this does is it's going to take the entire message and it's going to basically take each one of these words separated by a space right it's going to store each one of those words in its own um in its own index in the array right so that's basically what this does it just basically takes the entire um, or whatever delimiter you're using so if you want to do you know uh, commas or um you know, uh, forward slash, right? You can do whatever you want. Just, you know, it stores into the array. Okay, so just to show you guys how this works, let me just go ahead into my test server, add, let me just run my bot real quick. Uh, okay, so Node.js, add YouTube, Overwatch, uh, FN for Fortnite, and we'll see that it just, whoops, prints out all of these, right, individually in its own uh, index, right? Okay, so that's pretty cool. So the next thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create a loop. Uh, not, I'm sorry. I'm going to want to... Uh, actually, yeah, I do need a loop first. So I'm going to go ahead and do var i equal 1. And I'm storing it 1 because I'm using this uh, in, this uh, incrementer variable to iterate this array. And the 0th subscript is just going to be the command all the time. And we don't really need that. So I'm just going to start at 1. So I'm going to say while i is less than the total number of keywords provided, right? Because that's our condition, right? We're going to basically, if the user provides four um, roles, that means there's four uh, roles to be added to. That's how many times we want to iterate the loop, right? So if i is less than args dot, args dot length, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check 
if the keyword or the yeah the, the argument that they specified. So what I want to mention right off the bat is that these arguments are just going to be keys, the keywords, right? Keywords, keys, whatever you want to call it, but they're basically going to be the keys, right? So notice how YouTube, uh, YT, OW, those are the same exact thing as the keys. So whatever keys that you have in your JSON file, those are just going to be the keywords that the user has to type for them to actually uh, add themselves to a proper rule. So hopefully that makes some sense, but it's, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So if, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check, right? Because basically the, like the whole, so the whole idea is basically your, your users can, you know, type in. So I'll, I'll show you what I did on one of my servers, for example. So all of these things are keywords that resemble to the rule, right? Because, you know, it's just tedious to just type in computer science or, you know, digital forensics, right? So just have them type in a keyword and they'll just resemble to whatever role that they want them to. So I'm going to, so basically I have these all in a JSON file and each of these keys will have a value and whatever key that is, um, the value would just be the rule, right? So let me just go back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, if course file, now course file is the, uh, is the variable that holds the JSON file that we imported. It, if it has own property, whoops, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in args subscript i. So this will basically, we're just basically passing in the keyword, right, as a string. And we're, well, not, I'm sorry, not keyword. Okay, so the keyword as a string is basically um, going to check if that, if the, the JSON file has, you know, that uh, key, right? So if it does, we're going to want to do some stuff. So I'll show you uh, rule exists. And I need to increment before, so I'm going to go ahead right over here and restart my bot. Okay, so I'm going to do add YouTube or Fortnite. Role exists three times. So perfect, that just tells you that the role does exist indeed. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So now we know that this works 100%. So just to run down, basically, what happened is... YT, OW, and FN were passed in in the, in the order it was in the array, right? So the first one that was passed in was YT, which is YouTube. So it's basically equivalent to this, YT like that. I'm passing in arg sub i, right? I'm passing in YT manually as a string. It's basically the equivalent, right? Pass that in, check if this uh, JSON file or this object has the key. YT, and if it does, then it's true. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we know that the key exists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, if it exists, then we know that uh, we're not really going to have any problems with, uh, you know, um, non-existent roles, right? So this is actually a really good way to check if um, a role on the server exists or if um, a user is able to add themselves to a role because sometimes you don't want the user to be able to add themselves to an admin role. So just don't include the admin option here. Okay, or like an admin keyword that will assign themselves to the administrator role. Okay, so if course uh, file dot has own property, if it has the key, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is uh, I gotta backtrack again. I kind of lost my train of thought. So if it does exist, then what we want to do is we want to reference that key, get the uh, the value of it because the value is the role, right? So let's see if it does have it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, var role is equal to member, I'm sorry, not member, message, dot guild, dot roles, find. I'm going to say course file, and I'm going to reference this value with the key by doing this. I'm going to pass an arg sub i. What this will do is it will basically um, reference the key, right? in this JSON file. So we'll, we're actually getting the value. We're actually getting the value with whatever key we pass in. Now we know this key is going to exist, right? Because we're inside this if statement. So we're not going to have any problems with, you know, dealing with null. I mean, if you want, you can just do something like if rule is not null, just to be safe, but I'm not going to do it. Okay, so yeah, if, if it does exist, um, and you know, I'll just show you, you know, just for the sake of the video, just, just to make sure it works 100%. For debugging purposes, but so if it's not null, rule exists, or not rule exists, but rule found. Okay, so if the rule is found, 
right? Which it is going to be found, right? Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is we can go ahead and go ahead and check if the user already has the role, um, if they've already been assigned to the role, just to prevent themselves from, uh, you know, just spamming the bot and just adding themselves to the same role over and over again. So I can do something like if um, message dot member dot roles dot has and what do I want to pass in here? Uh, role ID. I'm just going to do a simple console log. User already assigned to role. And ideally, maybe you would not want to send a message here because you don't want the user to spam the bot over and over again. So let's actually see. Let's just make sure everything is good. So if they, okay, so if they don't have the role, then we're going to assign them to it. So I'm going to do message dot. Uh, members member add role role the id okay <clears throat> excuse me uh okay so message dot member dot add role role id and we're just going to send a message that says you have been added to and i'm going to want to get the uh okay so actually you know um, I'll show you, so what's going to happen is this, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you what's going to happen, um, and I'll explain why, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just, uh, show you, so. Oh, whoops, <laughs> uh, accident right over here, it's dot find, sorry. There we go, hopefully there should be no other, uh. The problems. Missing access. Uh, oh yeah, I think I didn't. I didn't give my bot access. So let me actually. I think I do have a bot. Here we go. And we have been added to those three roles, just like that. So um, this is okay. Uh, you have been added to YouTube or watch Fortnite. Um, so I'm not going to really explain how you can have it. Just all, you know, send on the same line. Um, well, because what you could do, and here's this. And what I did was I had an array that had all the roles that the user was successfully added to, and I just printed out the array after the loop because this loop is going to basically print it out over and over again so i mean you, you guys can so basically what i'm trying to say is if you compare this output to uh you know this output you know this one is way better than the than this one right over here so i mean i'll i'll probably post like a, a code snippet on what i did and you guys can uh, take a look at it if you want uh but yeah so this is pretty straightforward and uh you know this is definitely a lot more efficient um, so I hope this guy, I hope this, uh, uh video helped you guys out. Um, and if you, if you guys did, if you guys did like, if you guys uh, did enjoy this video, definitely leave a, like a comment or whatever, uh, letting me know, you know, feedback. Cause you know, I, I do these videos for fun. And, um, you know, if, if you know, if, uh, if one, if at least one person comments saying, you know, I like this video, you know, then that, that makes me want to do more videos and help you guys out. So yeah, definitely, uh, you know, check out my other discord videos, discord bot tutorial videos, and I will see you guys in, uh, in my next video. Peace.